Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. The studios opens up at 10 and we're already here. And it it's 9.50. So good. Vacation-y? Yes. Yeah. We're ho fingers crossed we get a good boarding group. Because... I mean, I can't go on, but like... I'm excited for the energy anyway. They haven't been on it, I've only been on it twice. It's gonna be a good day. Look at this early morning tower terror. And it looks like they I think they're gonna I think they're letting I don't know if they're letting people queue up or if they're even just running them now, but we're gonna try. Yeah, it looks like it's running. We got 15 minutes till the park opens and boarding groups start, so we're gonna try to go on one of these bad boys right now, I think. Oh rock and roll coaster. So I don't know if it's I think they just open up the queue, but we're social distancing, but we're moving. So it's only 9.46, so if we get on this, even in, it looks like it can't be more than with the 15 minute wait, maybe, with the distances. It is 9.56 and we're so close. I'm terrified that we're gonna get on the ride at 10 o'clock when the queue opens up, but Sarah's off the ride. Gonna try to get us just in case. Literally, literally 1, 9.59 and we're about to get on this ride. So I really hope I don't disappoint my brother. But we did not get in the 10 a.m. boarding group. But we also haven't done the boarding group since they split it at 10 and 2. We've only done it when it was just all of them at once. So fingers crossed people flow out of here for the 2 o'clock. And then we, we get, the get that. There was so much pressure. I had my phone open and literally like seconds it, it said like we are out of boarding groups. So we're going to go mosey around Galaxy's Edge and maybe go on Smuggler's Run. Because I've only ever been on that once and it says it's only a 10 minute wait. But I need to find me a coffee at some point too. Ordered some Ranto roasters. This is the first time we've ever eaten here. We actually ended up getting both wraps because they mistakenly gave us a breakfast one. We ordered the other one, but both look yummy. That is some fancy overnight oats. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. It's like boba. Boba balls. server was probably one of the best cast members ever. Yes. He was such a good time. He gave us a couple of coasters and other little just souvenirs that And just so a good thoughtful. good and good just, like happy fun guy. Yeah, it was awesome. But we're gonna wait in an 80 minute line for Smuggler's Run and the line because of social distance is all the way towards the Toy Story land entrance. At this point though like all the rides have long wait times so we gotta just bite the bullet. Right and we, ha we have to do the two o'clock um, we have to try for the two o'clock rise, rise resistance distribution. Right. And it's not overbearingly hot right now because there's a cool breeze. So all the other rides are a long wait. So we might as well just hang out with the with the family, wait in the line, and wait for two o'clock. Which I'm excited because I've only done smugglers once. Yeah. I mean, right. Can you do it or no? I cannot. Okay. But I'm hoping that the line will just fly by. So even though it's a 90 minute wait, we're moving pretty frequently, and we're almost in the building. So the, the social distance markers actually make the queues really smooth. We didn't even realize that we were in line for 40 minutes. And we're already here. Another group of flight candidates. Yes. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we're in, we're in. Thank you. If anything lights up, you switch it, you hit it. Right pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Let's 
We made it out alive, but we hurt the Falcon. Woo! So we are gonna head to baseline to hang out. We are anxiously waiting the next 16 minutes for our chance to get boarding groups for Rise of Resistance. And the breeze is nice. It is getting hotter, but the breeze is like so good. But it all comes down to 15 minutes from now when the boarding groups release at 2 o'clock. That's going to make or break the day. We got. <laughs> if uh, we, we, we have two Chicagoans that flew down just for literally this ride. So, no pressure. That Mickey song, Nothing Can Stop Us Now, is ironic because... They stopped us now. They stopped us now because we did not get a boarding group. We did get food. Oh, it looks fun. really yummy. Fancy hummus plate and french fries. But the spirits are a little low. Howard tear up next. Well, it's been about 43 minutes. It wasn't too bad. It went by quicker. And we are in. Getting ready. We've come to I'm terms. scared of heights. So. We're, we're, we've come to terms with Rise of the Resistance. And we're leaving after this. So we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> we're going, we're going to go back to the pool and hang out at the, the pool. Yeah. It's going to be good. You are the passengers on an ocean coming up, about to ascend into your very own episode of The Twilight Zone. We had a really good ride, but I've never actually seen the Hollywood Tower Hotel fly before, and I really want one for my own. I could have one made. You ready to go? Go swimming? Sure. Relax? Yeah. So this is the gondola. All right, we just watched. Hey, I got it on my phone. It's a full ride. It's a full from start ride to through. Full ride for 15 minutes to watch the program. Okay, so my brother's gonna watch Rise of Resistance because we couldn't go on it. But we're gonna go down to the Lazy River. The Lazy River, and the pool over there, and maybe the pool over there. All right, so we just finished up at the pool. We're all gonna get changed and get dried out, and then I think we're gonna go to the Back Bay restaurant, which actually is at the Grand Wyndham Hotel. Just to the left here. But come on, check this out, extraholidays.com. I think right now you can get it for like 160 a night for a one bedroom. Rack rate is like 230, but they're doing sales right now, but extraholidays.com. One bedroom villa at Bonnet Creek, right, literally right next to Epcot. The gondola to studios is right there. We're out to dinner, here's the little menu. I got like a mango lava smoothie. And then I got a bucket of craft beer. We got some fresh nachos. How are they? They're good? Here's our little Mediterranean sandwich with portobello mushroom, french fries. And over here, that looks like a really good burger. <laughs> And Buffalo Chicken. Oh, it's really good. The wrap-up's a good one. <laughs> Evie's got her sweater on. Oh, she's so cute and warm in it. Do you like it? She doesn't hear it. You don't it. seem totally frozen. See, look how long they are. <laughs> but they work. Her little bow pops it's out. It's the perfect size for her. Uh, I don't know if I ever showed that I put her little fall bow on. She looks so cute. Also, we're home. We are home. We're, we're tired. tired. <laughs> Guys, we don't do full park days. We're two in a row and we have a third day ahead of us. These vacations are getting ahead of me. <laughs> vacations? We both took a snooze, a tiny snooze on the couch, but we're both toast. Look at, look at that. It's 
good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.